me, uh, Sean and Ali came over from, from Sussex at the end of the season and we're all playing in Adelaide in the Premier Cricket competition at the moment. I've been out here for, this is my third time coming to Adelaide. I spent two years back in 2015 and 2016 out here, which is a long time ago now. Um, so this is the third time sort of coming back to the same same club and the same competition, but it's a little bit different since I was last here. Obviously, it was a little bit different for myself compared to what the other lads are doing because I didn't really play uh, much cricket last year due to my injuries. Um, so sort of speaking to the club at the end of the summer last year, they were like, we're keen for you to go away if you can um, and sort of get some game time under your belt and start bowling some overs. Um, so sort of the main focus was me just getting overseas and playing a lot of cricket, trying to get my body used to used to playing cricket again after such a sort of long time out with that back injury. Because um, even at the end of the season last year, I was only allowed to bowl a certain amount of overs in the day and, and stuff like that. So they're just trying to get me fit and ready to go for, for March, April time back in the UK. That's all good. Um, there's obviously times where you think about it and it's a bit stiff and, and all of that, but pretty normal with, with pretty big injuries and obviously it's my third third injury in my back so with all that sort of as part of it it has been um, something you do think about and obviously take a little bit more care with but I haven't had any any real issues since being over here maybe a couple of just times where it's flared up a little bit but nothing too bad so fingers crossed it stays that way ready for the start of the English summer. Australian cricket is notoriously very strong um, in comparison to English club cricket. They select their um, professional players straight from grade cricket over here. So the league is grade cricket compared to obviously Premier League cricket in England. Um, and they select uh, select their uh, professional players who do well in the competition. So you often see all their pros and some international players coming back and playing in, in grade cricket when they're not playing state or international cricket. So it is strong. Um, so uh, they have a couple of different tiers. There's like a grade tier, which is um, A grade, B grade, C grade, D grade. And then I have a turf comp, which runs underneath it. Um, and I'd say sort of the turf comp underneath it is sort of similar to Premier League cricket and English cricket back home. And the great comp that we're playing in myself Ali and Sean at the moment is sort of somewhere in between probably playing Premier League cricket and sort of second eleven cricket in the UK so it's somewhere sort of some teams would be sort of similar to playing in the second team and some teams would sort of be around sort of more Premier League standard so there is um there is a good standard lot obviously there's a lot of English professionals over here this year as well I think there's 10 or 15 who've come over, so that's obviously lifted the standard as well. Sort of every team you play against, you're playing against a couple of professionals from other county teams as well. So that's obviously raising the standard too. Yeah, I played against Ali um, a couple of times. Um, right at the start, so that would have been, that was in November, I think, or the start of December when I sort of first got there. Um, which was funny, obviously, playing against him. I've never played against Ali in my life, so... That was interesting. Like I've always, I went to school, same school as him, and same. Um, obviously, now playing county cricket with him, so it was funny playing playing the other team too. Yeah, we've been seeing each other weekly, like pretty much. Well, I've seen seen the guys. We go out for like runs and stuff in the morning, go for breakfast, go for coffees. Um, yeah, we we sort of try and do. I do a lot of my training together with them, so it's like nice and competitive, almost like we're trying to push each other. Um, with the gym stuff, with the running, um, and then we obviously have time where we spend time going into town or just going for going for a coffee or going for food. Like we, yeah, we've sort of been hanging out probably three or four days a week to be honest since uh, since we got here. So it's nice, um, obviously keeping that um, keeping it close before we go home. Seen a lot of the coffee shops around Adelaide, just getting a good perspective of what, what it's like over here. You can't really beat the Australian coffee scene. It's it's pretty much set up for it over here. Like, um, like go out, it's 35 degrees outside, so everyone's sitting outside of a outside of a coffee shop having a nice breakfast with an iced latte. So, um, yeah, it's it's. I mean, Hove's good, so I can't complain. But over here, you 
you're struggling to beat it, I think. Yeah, it's great. Um, it's a good appointment for the club. I know Paul from my time doing, I did a lot of 12-man stuff and I was part of the MCC Young Cricketers for, for England. So, And he was part of the coaching setup then. So um, I sort of knew him before uh, he obviously has taken this role with Sussex. Um, and I had a decent relationship like uh, with him in terms of just getting to know him, obviously, with my time doing that stuff. So I think I did four test matches or five test matches with him. Um, so, yeah, I got to know him um, well enough. And then, yeah, so he's obviously taken over and he's a great coach. He's obviously got a proven record with where everywhere he's been, really. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to catching up with him in the UK when we get back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for as long as my body can can hold up and and keep keep me on the field, I'm I'm wanting to play as much cricket as possible. Um, I think it gives you the best chance of getting further in the game as well. Obviously, if you if you're fit and available and doing well in all three formats, then you're more seen by selectors or by teams elsewhere. So it's it's one of those things that I've always wanted to play all three formats and and hopefully with the signings we've also got. Um, we can push in the right direction in all three formats as well. Yeah, he's he's one of the best all-rounders in the world, especially in white ball cricket at the moment. So that is a phenomenal signing. He's obviously a great leg spin bowler. He's a r ridiculous fielder and he can hit the ball out of the ground pretty much at will. So it's going to be exciting seeing him, seeing him play at Hove this year, that's for sure. Yeah, he's, he's, um, he plays at South Australia. So he's... he's um, He's here where, where Ali and I and Sean are. Um, he's a name that sort of everyone knows. I think he's a bowling all-rounder. I think he can bat pretty well. Um, I think he showed that for Warwickshire last year. I think he got a couple of scores for them in the championship. So, um, yeah, he's obviously he's a, lovely, a good scene bowler, can bowl decent pace as well. So that's um, something that probably we might need at Hove on wickets that might be a bit more uh, placid if they are similar to last year. Sort of if, if they get a bit flat, then we need someone to to use their speed and stuff. So that would be, it would be good to have him around. Yeah, it was, um, it was strange when that was all developing because obviously like, we didn't know that much about it over here. Um, but because obviously being in Australia and stuff and, and hearing that, like you see all these articles that suddenly were like coming out and everyone was like coming up to you, like you're going to be playing with Smith next year. <laughs> all this stuff, which is, it was quite, quite surreal. And then obviously when it happened, it's, it's strange, like, an amazing signing, like how he's pulled it off, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's going to be pretty cool to be sharing a dressing with someone who's as good as he is. I mean, he's probably one of the best test batsmen to have ever lived. So it'll be interesting to um, to pick his thoughts and see how he goes about it in the changing rooms. I mean, we obviously, I don't know if you've seen the test documentary recently, but you get to see a pretty good understanding of what he's like in the dressing room. Yeah, I don't see how you could really see one of the best players in the world coming over and playing in the competition as a negative. I think that's just people being a bit a bit silly, if, if I'm being honest. Like, you've got a guy who's going to be able to share his experiences and and his knowledge with a load of young English batters playing yeah. county cricket. So I don't I don't see the negative. I know over here it's obviously been seen as a positive, um, and they're reporting. It. Obviously, I think he played for Worcester for a little bit at some stage. But they were saying, like, it's great that he's decided to go over and get some experience in, in county cricket. So over here, it's all been positive. But, yeah, I, I mean, it's it's great for Sussex. It's great. It's also going to be good for the teams he plays against because I'm sure that people want to talk to him after games and and things like that. And you're going to see how he goes about his business firsthand rather than just on the TV or watching from the stands in a test match. So, yeah, I mean, it can only be a positive, really, for, for, for English cricket moving forward, I believe. It's something I've always had an interest in, but I'm looking sort of when I'm, I was going to actually think about messaging Adrian and sort of trying to um, butter him up again so I could <laughs> get back in the commentary box at some stage. Um, but yeah, it's something that I, I do I do look at in the future. Um, it's just obviously with, with him in the box and how good he is, it's going to be tough to tough to get in there. So I'll have to, I'll have to keep my playing career going for a little while longer so he can he can pass on the mantle. <laughs> nah, it's, um, I'm looking forward to um, catching up with them and hopefully I can do some more stuff with with them and whatever it may be, if that's commentary or something behind the scenes or whatever, I'm, I'm keen to do that. So we'll have, we'll, we'll have to look into it when I get back and see what, see what they've got for me and if they've got anything at all, really. 
Yeah, I think the squad official pre-season date is the 13th of March. Um, and then um, I'm coming back on... Me and Sean are flying on the same day, actually, on the 28th of February, so we're back on the 1st. So I think we'll be in, in and around the ground sort of from the 4th, I think the week is, or maybe the 5th or something. I'm not sure when it is. But one of those days, the Monday, I think, the week before, so maybe it's the 6th. So I'll be in from there, um, getting, getting acclimatised back to six degrees and rain rather than the sunshine over here.